Christmas, kids. Gather around and tell old St. Nicholas what you'd like to have for Christmas, Christmas Eve. Old St. Nick has got some candy and some apples and oranges and everything today. And he'll be back around with old Rudolph. Old St. Nicholas will see what they want through his crystal ball, but if they tell him, it makes it a little easier on old Santa. Come on, girls. Don't be bashful here. Old Santa's been watching you all year in his crystal globe. We uh, had two Santa Claus this year. We had one uh, for the 979 area, one for Little Mud, and one for Toller. I played the Santa Claus on Toller and Little Mud. Uh, we served, I'd say, probably 500 people there. We go to the head of the hollows where the kids can't get out. That's probably the only thing that they get for Christmas. I'm telling you, she's something else. I believe hey, she's a little boy. bit afraid to come over and talk I'll with old Santa. Here, what would you like Santa to bring you Christmas Eve? Okay, you don't want nothing special, but old Santa just should look in that crystal ball and find out what. Boys, is that your hound dog, sir? One's a shepherd and one's got a little hound in him, ain't he? <laughs> Old St. Nicholas knows hounds. Santa's <laughs> getting a little nervous. He's awful old. He can't move around like he used to. I dare he's getting a little old, too. Yeah, they look forward to that for months. And uh, like uh, the gentleman on Toller was talking about Black Lung, even if you're playing Santa Claus, you're going to get cornered about black lung cases or Social Security or something that the organization has been working on. I think that, too, is shaking the people up, uh, the local politicians and things, because people <coughs> they can see now that the people can go ahead and, and run certain programs, get certain projects done on their own without having to ask them for a, for a Christmas basket or having to go down to the uh, Chamber of Commerce and, well, the politicians, the politicians can't stand it, but uh, the surrounding people, they love it. And if we can keep building grassroots organizations and, and keep educating the people, which is a damn hard job to do, it's long, it's slow, uh, I think that's the only hope that I see for industry and for political change and social change here. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, and old Saint I'll see you Christmas Eve. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho.